Welcome in. So I found an article that shows the 10 most dangerous landings. Now, are they actually the 10 most dangerous landings? Probably not. But I thought it would be interesting to try it live on stream. So if you want to come over to Twitch next time and watch, you're more than welcome to. First one is at Santos Dumont. That's why we're here in A320 with Spirit, which doesn't make sense, I know. But we're going to do a landing. And then we're going to try the next one and the next one. All the way down to the most dangerous landing ever, theoretically. Let's do it. 2,000 years later. Okay, so here we are. This is Santos Dumont in Rio. It's a little tiny airport on the water. I think the runways are 700-ish meters. A320, this shouldn't be too difficult in reality. Well, in reality, maybe it is. In the sim, it's not. Add a little more flaps in here. This actually isn't looking too bad. All of these are going to be live weather as well, clearly, because that's half of what makes, you know, some of these landings hard is the weather. So this is all live weather. Okay. Okay. Add a tiny bit of power back on. We should be okay, but I'd rather come in shallow than steep here, you know? Definitely got a little bit of wind action. Well, yeah, we definitely got some uh, some wind action. Let's try to go to this uh, right runway because it appears to be wider. And Lord knows we need that. Here we go, folks. Santos Dumont and A320 shouldn't be too difficult, but we got a little wind action. Hopefully, I can make it not a deadly touchdown. That's what we're looking for, guys. If it can not be deadly i will be okay definitely rough definitely rough that was 600 feet per minute definitely gonna have to take a take a gander at the landing gear there but i think we'll be able to stop and there we go pretty bad pretty bad let's take a look at the replay and then we'll and then we'll go on okay here we go guys how bad is this landing actually there's someone uh, upside down next to me ignore that okay guys Please ignore that. Let's see what happens. I put the speed brakes out because we were a little bit higher than I wanted it to be. And then I was full back pressure. And then there's a little bit of a rough uh, spirit appropriate landing there, guys. Spirit appropriate. Okay, next airport. As you look at this um, probably list that's based not in reality at all, we have McMurdo in Antarctica. That should be interesting. And I believe we have a C-17 that we can use there. So let's go find it. So here we are on approach into McMurdo Station in Antarctica in a C-17 plane that actually lands here. And there's an AN-225 with one resolution flying towards me. Okay, let's see if we slow this down. We're at 200 knots. Let's get in the cockpit here. That little black line you see is not the runway. That is like a road next to it. So we're just kind of playing this by ear because you can't really see it because there's a bunch of snow on it. So let's just see what happens. Here we are. We're almost touched down. That, that uh, 747 is making it easier. There we go. Touchdown. Reverse. We got some bounciness going on. Goodness gracious. And there we go. There's a stop. Okay, let's watch that replay. It's going to be terrible. Here we go. Oh, it actually didn't look as bad as uh, I thought it was going to. Definitely a lot of bounciness there on the uh, on the ice, but it really didn't look that bad. Yeah, I definitely I definitely went way too far. I mean, we're still like if you look here, we went to the very end of it. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Okay, next one. Now back to number eight. We have Madeira. Okay, we got some um, airport on pylon action. Okay, guys, so here we are, Madeira Airport 747. Uh, let's see if we can slow down enough. We're going to try this landing. Theoretically difficult because of wind. I definitely need to slow down, so don't, don't do as I do, but i um, putting some speed brakes out midair here. Second approach, reason being I use slew mode and to put my gear up. Obviously, you guys on YouTube didn't see that because that's edited out. Here we go, 158 knots. Add a little trim in here. Felt like we had some weird air pocket thing going on right before the runway, so I need to maybe keep a little bit of airspeed to combat that but we'll see what happens yep there it is little power on yep i could feel it it feels like uh almost like wind shear or something going on there we might land a little bit late but this shouldn't be too bad 148 knots there's touchdown not the greatest nose up still full reversers and let the nose down slowly ish and there it was not the worst not the best that was 500 feet per minute though you know so uh not comfortable We'll take a look at it from the outside. Definitely a little shallow here. Here we go. I think I needed a slightly more airspeed because as I was, um, that didn't actually look nearly as bad as it felt. That didn't look nearly as bad as it felt. It was, the touchdown was center line too, but then, uh, then, uh, I kind of got off center line, but hey, I'd rather get off center line than by, than land center line in the first place, you know? Okay. Next up we have, let's check it out. Saba. 
So we'll do Saba. My goal is to do these in planes that actually land here because that kind of makes it more fun and more like realistic than just doing something stupid. So we'll try Saba and we'll get in a twin otter and we'll, we'll check it out. Okay, let's do this thing, guys. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get some flap action here. Let's go land this thing. Let's go land this thing. We'll try to land it around, around 65-ish knots. That's what I'm hoping here. 65-ish knots, folks. Let's hope for the best. 70 knots for shallow, very shallow. Who is that and what are you doing? Holy, we got some, oh! Worst landing known to mankind. Worst landing known to mankind and we barely stopped. Oh my gosh. 300 feet per minute though, I mean, we didn't die. We didn't die, but uh, we almost did. Let's watch it here. It looked like it was gonna be kind of decent, like, if I had stayed down there, it would have been fine. I mean, we got way off. We almost, you know, we almost sank into the mud. But uh, besides that, it wasn't the worst thing ever. But we stopped. That's the important thing. Next up, what is the next most dangerous landing, theoretically? Princess Juliana, which is actually right here. So you know what I'm going to do? We're just going to fly on over here. Meow. Just going to fly on over here. Speed breaks out. We're going 216 knots. we got to slow this baby down. Let's see. Princess Juliana, 777-300ER. We should have plenty of runway length, so that's not what I'm worried about. I just want to actually get a good touchdown, a good landing, and uh, come out alive, you know? Let's get rid of those spoilers. We don't screw up our uh, lift here. A little bit shallow. 180 knots. Got to slow down a little more. Slow down, buddy. We're going to land late, but I want to land smooth, you know? There we go. Full reversers. A little off center. Goodness gracious. Right rudder. Nose down. And uh, that was uh, interesting. It's 300 feet per minute, so you know, not not the best, but pretty normal. Pretty normal landing speed. Pretty bad off center line. We touched down center line, and then we uh, and then we got off center line there pretty quick. So okay, let's check out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Here we go. Triple seven three hundred ER at Princess Juliana. Definitely landing late. Ooh, I don't know if that was a tail strike or was just very close, but uh, that was uh, dangerously close. Next, we have Courchevel. Courchevel. Okay, what G we should just land a GA plane at Courchevel. Which one do y'all want? Bur burgla. The burgla. There is our little airstrip. Get our gear out. There we go. And let's see what, what we can do. The issue is landing smooth here because not only are you approaching the runway. But well, because of the angle, the runway is kind of approaching you at the same time, if that makes sense. So let's see what happens. Oh, we're gonna land so late now. Ooh. 350 feet per minute. Actually, when we landed late, I was like, oh, we we're just gonna smack this thing. Um, but we didn't quite smack it. We would be okay, 300 feet per minute, you know? Now let's check out this replay. Okay, here we go. And Aaron do it decently. Let's get a different view. There we go. See, that's right. If I touch down right there. Oh, yeah, a little rough. If I touch down right there, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. Next up, we have Wellington in New Zealand. Wellington in New Zealand. Let's do it. 2,000 meter long runway. Mountainous area is often hit by strong gust of winds. Wellington in New Zealand, folks. Let's do it, guys. Let us do it. Look at this crosswind action we got, guys. Look at this crosswind action. Shallow, but I kind of want shallow just so I have like, I don't have to time it quite as perfectly. If I nail this, I'll be really happy. I have a feeling I won't, but you know, I'm bad at crosswind landings. Try last second, put in a little bit of rudder. 40, it's a little bit slower than I want to be. Okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. Now that was not too bad. Now that was not too bad. That was 106 feet per minute, man. That was 106 feet per minute. Okay, damn. If I had not recorded that, I would've actually been so upset, bro. We'll go like uh, this. There we go, that's a cool angle. There we go. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, off center there, little power back on. Okay. I should have touched down my uh, right gear first though, I believe. Yeah, I should have been right gear first. And the nose wheel steering kind of screwed me up, but uh, there we go. Next up, that was our best landing so far. Still wasn't perfect. We have Paro. And we'll do, uh, I feel like, 
feel like A320 is probably what we should do here, but I'm tempted to do an A318 since we already did the A320. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do it, guys. A310. Let's see. I, hopefully, there's not too much uh, crazy winds going on here. That's my, uh, that is my one hope. I want a bunch of wind action. 150 knots. This is looking all right. Got our gear out. There's our runway, folks. A little power on. I don't want to get too slow. We're, we're at high altitude, too, so I can't be... I really cannot be too slow here or it'll get us killed, you know? Stop. Come on, baby. 200 feet per minute, that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Look at that. That may have been the better one. That may have been the better one, I think. I don't think we landed as late that time. Okay, let's check out that landing, guys. Here we go. This is gonna be, I may have touched these trees slightly, but we're gonna ignore that, okay? We're gonna ignore the tree touches, okay, folks? We're gonna ignore that. Did I touch the trees? Oh, no, I didn't. Look at me. Nice. Yeah, should have been a little more lower there. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm starting to like the A310 more and more. Okay. Next up. That was Paro. Next up, we got Tenzing Hillary. So, the neighbor of Paro. We have, um, we got a uh, Lukla. So, let's check out Lukla. Let's do, I think the caravan's a good choice. I honestly think the caravan's a pretty good choice here. Okay, 67 knots of airspeed. A little low. 60 knots. Let me get a little more throttle in here. Keep that throttle in. We're at 9,000 feet, by the way, guys. So that explains the uh, need for a lot of throttle on approach here. Zero throttle down. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness graciousness. That was uh, quite wonderful, actually. That was quite wonderful, actually, guys. You see that? Did y'all see that? Okay, let's check out this landing. That was actually really good. Caravan Lukla action. Let's see. This felt very smooth. I think it was 200 feet per minute, but it felt really smooth. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Dang. Okay. What is, according to this article, the most dangerous airport to land at? Barra in Scotland. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. But a lot of these things I've never heard someone say it. I just say it in my head all the time. So we got, um, we got a beach landing. Okay, gear out. Let's uh, gear out, please. Thank you. We're just going to land right along that beach. Let me get rid of this so I can see. Water landing in an ATR. Never thought you'd hear me say that. Huh? We're going a little quick. Definitely going a little quick. Look at that angle we're flying at, guys. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is not good. Ah! Second beach landing attempt. Definitely looking better. Touchdown, bro. How much? Okay, there's touchdown. Full reverser. Well, that would stop real quick. And uh, there we are in the water. ATR water landing action. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. I thought I was going to touch down. There. Oh, there we go. And there's a stop. That thing stopped like all, literally on a dime. That was interesting. There it was. That was supposedly the most dangerous landing um for this video it kind of was because we crashed the first time so that was our 10 most dangerous landings obviously it probably wasn't correct it was kind of fun if you want to see these kind of videos live follow the twitch i'll put it down below and thank you for watching